What's up, everybody? What's going on? Shampoo and Anime Central. We're here to do this uh, live reaction. I've got several messages talking about this video. They said, look, it's pertaining to reactors and myself and all this shit. So I want to see what's going on with this. Um, yeah, let's just check it out. Hello everyone! We are very excited to bring you an announcement today. It's a really big announcement then. Our company has grown so much over the years and we are so grateful to have experienced this with all of you who have been with us for years as well as new people who join the Fine family every day. And it's because of all your support that we're now announcing this big thing that will bring us closer than ever before by creating a new way for us to create content together. This is not only a huge step for our company but for the entire global media industry. Ever since React first debuted over five years years ago, we saw the impact of the series. The franchise has grown beyond our wildest imagination, and it's been humbling to see the impact it's had on the world. We strive with React to be making episodes that will not just be interesting and entertaining now, but live on forever as a time capsule even a hundred years from now that people can look back at what various generations were saying about culture and the issues of our time. So you're wasting your time okay. going on the internet going through the comments and typing some racial slur for a Cheerios commercial. But what has been missing is how to expand React further to communities across the world, which we know for years is something all of forever. you have wanted and we wanted too. People we realized that the way to make forever. that happen is by having the people who helped React become a global phenomenon be the ones to make the shows with us, and that's all of you. We are excited to announce React World, which is a first of its kind program that allows people and companies to license all our popular shows online so that anyone even you watching right now can create your own versions in a fully legal way and be part of a new and exciting global community. In entertainment industry terms, when you create a version of a show based on someone else's format, this is called licensing, which many TV shows have done over time. For example, Britain's Got Talent and America's Got Talent. It's the same show format, but licensed legally to be created in other locations. So with React World, we've created a new way to license formats in the digital age. And unlike in TV, where you have to pay huge amounts up front, we're providing the license with no upfront fees. Instead, we're sharing revenue with you after you start uploading. Along with the license, we're gonna be giving you a bunch of resources to help you create the shows, make money, and get featured and promoted by us in various ways. Find out more in the links below. Part of why we believe this initiative is important is due to witnessing many creators, ourselves included, having their shows and formats blatantly stolen by companies and people, both online and on television. And we implore everyone not to support those companies and channels. When you notice someone ripping someone's format off, don't stand for it. We have been creating shows online for nearly 12 years. And as YouTube and web entertainment has evolved, we've seen the supportive ethos of what so many of us pioneered start going away. As digital media has become more corporate, the spirit of wanting to do things differently than traditional Hollywood has started to dissipate, but our company has never lost that spirit. With React World, we're providing a way for people to make their own versions of our shows and do it with us. By licensing our formats and trademarks, everyone will know that you're doing this legally with our company's guidance. We are so motivated for this. To know that our formats can inspire millions of people and open that up for all of you to have the chance to do the same is as exciting as anything we have ever done before. And we look forward to the time when we can look back to this moment, to this video with all of you, knowing that this was when we all stood together, changed the way things were done, and created this first-of-its-kind global community. So, if you're interested in creating your own version of any of our React formats, which, if you don't, then what is wrong with you, click the link, get the information, and sign up today. We can't wait to work with so many of you and change the world together. don't want to work with us, then what's wrong with you? Hey, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? He doesn't want to work with us. What's wrong? Some cocky ass shit. Hey, cocky ass guy. Hold on a fucking minute. Reactions. It's something people do. It's a natural thing. People react to things. They always have been. And I bet you they have been well before your bitch asses have even created the whole react bullshit. Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you serious about this? Are you kidding? You know what? Hold on, guys. Before I get on this, I got to look something up. 
I have to. Oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. These motherfuckers. Okay, first of all, guys, I, 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 I I, I was completely flabbergasted watching the video initially because they are literally trying to stranglehold the whole react type of thing. So, if I make a video with teens or kids reacting, oh, it's it's too similar to your format. Oh, you gonna? I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do? You gonna take down my shit? You gonna take down someone else's shit? Where people, people react. They've been doing it for a long, long, long time. I watched, I, I when I paused the video, I actually looked around. I, I saw Boogie's video. Um, I saw Review Tech's video. And Review Tech is, 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 is oh my God. Review Tech USA, he was right. Because I remember that shit. The Two Girls One Cup video. And then after I remember that, I started to remember other videos where I've seen tons of people react to things way before they were doing this shit. Like, some of you guys have been around for a while. I remember seeing, like, people showing uh, Grandma reacts to to two girls, one cup, and all this shit, and all this other crazy crap. No, no, <laughs> fuck no! What the fuck are they thinking? Oh my god! You know what? Look how many. This, this is what I'm. This, this is what I'm talking about. When people get a little too greedy, look. I mean, maybe their intentions were were just. Maybe their intentions were to improve something, okay? Maybe that's what their intentions were, to honestly improve something. But they're doing it the wrong way. Doing it the wrong way, completely. If you want to do it the right way, how about you just create something? All right, it doesn't have to be React World where people sign up under you and shit like that so you can profit off of fucking other people. No. How about you do so? whereas you go ahead and you talk to these companies and everything to make them understand that reactions help promote and advertise what they do so that there's no discrepancy there between people putting up reaction videos of what people are watching. You know what I'm saying? And for different types of mediums, there could be different types of rules and obligations and stuff that people couldn't show for the reaction videos, such as full-blown movies and stuff like that. Then that would be a good thing. That would be to improve it overall because you're so big. Look how big they are. They show them pictures at what fucking Disneyland and all this shit. These motherfuckers is making bank. These dudes, they're making bank. They got tons of subs. But after watching these videos and looking up shit, they're losing subs. They're losing like, so I see someone in the comment section saying that they're losing like 10K subs an hour and shit because of this. It's crazy. People have always been reacting. Why are you trying to stranglehold it? That is what they're potentially doing. They're, they're, they're trying to make it, they're trying to pussyfoot around the goddamn situation. They're trying to sugarcoat the whole thing. They're saying, hey, you know, you can use our formats. We'll, we'll share profit with you. Um, we'll give you some graphics and stuff, which wasn't initially in there, as I found out, and they edited everything, which wasn't originally in that shit, but they'll give you graphics and stuff like that. If you use want to use their kind of makeup of things. 
So if you do a reaction video or have a reaction series where you use older people to react to certain things or teens or kids or whatever, guess what? You can't do it. If they see it, they'll fucking shit on you. That's what they're saying. They're trying to lay claim to that. And people have been doing it forever. People have been doing it the whole time. It's kind of the same bullshit that Sony was trying to pull with the whole, we're trying to trademark Let's Play. Get the fuck out of here. What? Yo, that is bullshit. And I saw that follow-up video that they try to do. It was basically just damage control. You're trying to damage control the situation? No. What you said initially is what you tr what you are trying to do. You're saying, hey, if you sign up with us, you can use our formats. And basically, if there's other reaction channels that are doing the same similar kind of format, then we'll lay claim to that and we'll bring that shit down. And there's somebody, even Reviews to USA was talking about it in his video, that they took down their video. Why? Because he has a series where he uses kids to react to a certain fucking thing? Or he uses his grandma and his grandpa to react? Are you fucking serious? This is some dumb ass shit. Like some dumb ass shit. I, I, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no way, man, no way. And these dudes are huge. And they're launching this thing already. This is scary. That That's what it is. It's scary. Maybe, and like I said, maybe they had good intentions. Maybe they did have good intentions. That's fine. But you don't need to do what you're doing. You're making enough money as it is. Your view, Your videos literally get hundreds of thousands to millions of views you i mean some of your videos get potentially thousands of dollars potentially they get thousands of dollars period a single video and the thing is even though this is happening you're gonna have a whole bunch of people still subscribing and viewing these guys it's not like this is gonna ex extremely cripple them and destroy them no because people want to see their content but there's a lot of people that are just not going to put up with it they're going to be like who the fuck do you think you are get the fuck out of here this is dumb this is stupid and I'm right there what am I think it's stupid because like pe people people forget one thing okay and this is the last thing I'm going to say about this. Things will always change over time. Look how YouTube started and look where it is now. You honestly believe that if this React World shit gets really big, that they're just going to leave people alone? They're not going to... Things won't change so that they won't be affecting other reaction channels that do similar things or other things you honestly believe that look how many changes youtube has been through over the time and, and i'm just using youtube as an example but there's tons of different companies organizations that have done the same thing they change things over time because if they see a threat guess what they have to either protect themselves or take it the fuck down I don't support this shit whatsoever. But like I said, if they formed something 
whereas a lot of people could back, whereas they would talk to these companies and stuff <clears throat> to kind of be like, hey, um, these things, on, on more of a legal level, these things should be allowed on YouTube so that not just us, but everybody can react to. I can understand that. But that's not what they're doing. I'm done. I'm done. Peace out. Alright, and hold up. <laughs> I just seen this shit. The Ellen DeGeneres show did a live reaction using kids doing a reaction to like, uh, like some, something, typing, typewriter, something like that. And the Fine Brothers were literally wondering why they were not accredited or anything. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the shit I'm talking about, man. This is the exact shit I'm talking about. Hell nah.